Bula Malele Telofa and welcome to Season 7, Episode 61 of Breakfast Bites by TevovoSports.com, a wrap of Pacifica People Sports News on a sunny and bright Sunday morning, 3rd December 2023. Coming to you with Tan Savanisi from the 180th Meridian in the middle of the Blue Continent. In Rugby Union, Dubai Sevens, Day 1, Team Fijiana, 38-17 over Great Britain. Fijiana again, 21-17 over South Africa. And Fijiana went down 29-21 to New Zealand in its last in their last pool game at 1.35 a.m. this morning. Fiji Men, 21-14 over USA. Uh, Fiji men again, 45 over France, and then Great Britain whacked them 24-0 at 4 a.m. Meanwhile, Samoa went down to South Africa, 22-14, went down again to New Zealand, 14-12, and then smashed Canada, 24-0. In Rugby League, I'm not too sure, Billy Slater said when quizzed on what he thought Michael Maguire would bring to the New South Wales Blues after they were outplayed in the 2023 series. I think it's important to focus on what's in front of you and what you can control. That sort of stuff we can't control as Queenslanders. We just need to get our game on and that's what we're focusing on this year. In football... The Matildas have suffered their first loss since the FIFA World Cup, thrashed 5-0 in a brutal defeat to Canada in a friendly yesterday afternoon. Having already progressed to the next stage of Olympic qualification with good wins over Chinese Taipei, Iran and the Philippines, the stakes were lower against Canada and Matildas coach Tony Gufs Gustafsson opted for an experimental side and paid the price. In sports biz, NASCAR has announced seven-year seven broadcast partnerships for its Cup Series with Fox Sports, NBC Sports, Amazon, and Warner Brothers Discovery, starting in 2025. And the sum of all the, all the new deals amounts to U.S. $7.7 .7 billion, a 40% annual increase on what NASCAR is currently receiving from Fox and NBC. Notably, as Formula One gains more fans in the U.S., NASCAR's new media deals are worth 13 times the reported value of F1's U.S. deal with ESPN, which runs through 2025. In combat sports, eight months ago, Ryan Garcia strived for greatness as he tried to score a career-defining victory, but unfortunately he came up short, beaten by Javonta Tank Davis. So now Garcia is attempting to bounce back as he steps into the ring to face Oscar La Magrina Durate, who is 26, 1-1 one one with 21 KOs in Houston, Texas tonight. And that's a wrap. For TevovoSports.com, I'm Colin Kamir. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons below if you want to receive more Pacifica sports highlights on Breakfast Bites. Mahalo, kakite, and thank you all too much for all your love and support.